everybody. Welcome to ABC Glue and Free. We're so glad you joined us today. We're coming live from you to you from our kitchen here in Tom's River, New Jersey, and we have a very special guest. We're so excited. Kayla is here, and Kayla, we're so glad you came today. Thank I you can't for having hold me. It. I'm so excited. I tried to hold it in until we started. <laughs> so I'm so glad you came and you really took the time out for us today, and I really appreciate that. And I can't wait for you to tell us all about your her whole entire life is revolved around living celiac with celiac disease and also eating gluten free. So we're going to make her some delicious food today. We hope you enjoy mm -hmm. everything we make. I'm sure I will. <laughs> and uh, of course, I have my helper Sophia with me today. She never misses, and Jeremiah in the back there. So we're so glad you tuned in. We have a lot of work to do. We're going to put Kayla to work today. She's cooking in the kitchen with us, and we have her mom here, Gina, and her sister here. Tell me again, Samara. Mom, yeah. you have right? Oh yeah, but I don't want to look. I don't want to look at the paper. <laughs> and we have Samara here, and of course we have gluten free grandma in the back waiting to eat and here for um, cleaning up. So we need her here all the time. So we're gonna get started on making the pizza pies. Yeah, we're making mini pizza pockets. Mm -hmm. Where you're gonna like kind of do your own thing. Sophia, would you get the pepperoni and cheese out of the fridge for me? I'm all excited. right, I'm gonna get this. All right, so we have our. You know what that is, right? No. We have our yeast and water proofing. Okay. We're going to wait for the yeast to get a little bit fluffier, and we're going to add our bread mix to that. We have this. Thank you, honey. In the meantime, I'll just give you a little sneak peek because we have our dough already made. Ooh. Now, this is our dough already made. This is where it started. I always like to draw a circle to see how it was when it first began because we want to make sure it doubled. If it didn't double, we don't want to use it because it didn't yeah. proof up and it's not good. So this is our pizza dough. We use our classic white bread box. Okay. We use some Italian spices. We have our, our warm water and our yeast in there with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, just a tiny pinch. And we're gonna actually roll this out and stuff them with what you want to eat. Mm. Right, we have pepperoni, we have cheese, and we have some sauce. And Sophia, you're gonna get for so mommy. Hungry. <laughs> uh, can you get mommy the gravy cheese in the little bag, please? And Jeremiah, can bring the sauce up front. Actually, we'll wait one second. We'll, we'll roll out a little bit. And there, I have garlic in here. I mm, hope yeah. you can have garlic. You can have garlic, yes. And I hope, you know, if you stay clean. Uh, this? Oh, no, it's fine. No. I don't mind. Do you like the sauce here? Yeah, okay, hold on one second. All right, so first we're going to actually put this out. Here's and we're going to let you find. No, we'll find it. Don't worry, honey. The dough actually smells really, really, really yeah, good. Yeah, it smells like regular pizza dough, right? It does, yeah. Now, this is what we used to make our grandmother's upside down pie, which is mm, yeah. delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to just take that all out. You can and see the garlic flecks in there. Yeah. yeah. We're going to really be stinking later. Yay. <laughs> Thank you very much, honey. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the pizza cutter. Fingers dirty. Fingers dirty. I know. Yes, you get to put your fingers dirty. She loves to get it messy. <laughs> Usually I just put a little bit of flour on Kayla so we can okay. actually make, make it not stick to the actual table. So you take a piece. Sophie, you take a piece. <laughs> We'll all have our own piece and we're going to make a pocket. What we're going to do is just flatten it out into like a circle. Okay. It's almost like making your own little pizza pie, except we're going to fold it over into it's a like pocket. My Play -Doh. So you can make a little pizza ham pie. We love to have everything in our hand. We don't like to have to use a fork and knife for everything. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Now, this dough has been rising since about 9 o'clock. You don't have to let it go that long because in about an hour and a half, the dough should be doubled like it says on the box. Like that, Mama? Very good, honey. Good. All right, now Jeremiah's going to bring up the sauce. Pizza pocket. <laughs> we have our Sargento cheese. Do you like Sargento? I do. I do. We use them at all of our events because we know that they're gluten free. We called an ass. Good fact. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, you know what? A lot of the cheeses have those. Your mom knew. <laughs> you knew. Good job, mom. <laughs> a lot of the cheeses have anti-caking agent, which actually is a gluten substance. Mm -hmm. This has the potato starch in it, which is gluten free. So now what we're going to do is actually I'll put this in a bowl so we can kind of, we'll have all, oh, now you're going to make a pizza like that. We also have pepperoni, a few of pepperoni is gluten free. Oh yeah, baby. All right, stop that, Missy. All right, put it down because you don't want to make a monates. You know what that means, right? No. Oh, all right, monates, that's like our Italian word for don't make a mess. Oh. Mm. I think we made it up, but, right? <laughs> I think we made that no, word up. All right, thank you very Mary, much. Mary, do you know? Is that a is that a make a mess in Italian? No. Say it again one more time. Moonates. Moonates. Andiano means go. Andiano means go. Andiano. Andiano. Really? Yeah, Andiano means go. I'm taking Italian. I still don't know if I. Oh, good. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> All right. So now. 
now. We have, okay, put that down. Put okay. it down. Look, see how nice Kayla's like just kind of, she just left it there. Nice and neat, right? What we're going to do is we're going to put a little sauce inside. Okay. Sophie, you know what? Remember that ladle that you wanted to use earlier today? Excuse Kayla. See if you could, there we go. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of, we made homemade pizza sauce. We just did crushed tomato, garlic, olive oil, and all of our Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, oregano, basil, parsley. Mm. And we're going to actually, you're going to put a little bit in your pocket. We don't want it to spill out because we can always have some on the side to dip. Yeah. So we're going to put a little bit here. And then whatever you want to put in. We have cheese. Mm -hmm. We have pepperoni. You can do both. You can do one. Be careful. I love cheese. And then this is the one cheese that I can have. So I'm going to have this too. Mm, that's not a lot of sauce. We don't need too much sauce. Jeremiah, can you get the baby more cheese? cheese? <laughs> I love cheese. Yeah. It's going to come popping out the sides. And then we're going to know exactly which one <laughs> Kayla is. The cheese is gonna pop out the side. I love when the cheese yummy. pops out the sides. It is. Because so, then crispy. I'm like, oh, I could just scratch it yep. and eat it just now so good. Have, the it combination is mozzarella and provolone, mm -hmm. and that's normally what they use in the pizzerias. That's what we used to use in ours. All right, so we're gonna. So I'm gonna do mine. You're doing a good job. You know, you're gonna fold it over, right? Ready? Well, no, just fold it in half. Pinch the edges. Remember how we did the empanadas? Okay, well we just kind of move over the, uh, the um, pinch the edges, move, roll it over and pinch. Okay. Roll it over and pinch so that stuff doesn't come out. I got it. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. All right, so we're going to... Wait, put it down. Can you stop picking it up, please? I know, but you're going to wait. you got to wait. We're going to get these, these, I'm calling them empanadas now, because <laughs> we're going to get our pizza pies in the oven as quick as we can because we want to eat them. We want to make sure we can show you, and we hope you BYON, right, Sophia? Bring your own Bring your own napkin because you're going to be drooling. These are going to be yummy. Kayla said her favorite food is pizza, and I knew that I had to make it for her because normally we would never make pizza on the show just because we make it all the time. So it's like such a I regular can, thing I can in our eat pizza, so You can eat pizza every breakfast, day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Look how nice she's doing over here, guys. Can you see? Kayla, show them your little pizza pie. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know how to cook, but I'm learning today. You're doing <laughs> wonderful. Jeremiah, you're going to get us a baking sheet, please. It already. All right. Can I have it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of sauce in mine. Thank you. Oof, there we go. And I'm going to actually use, this is the Pecorino Romano, because I can't have cow's milk. So we're going to do that. And what happened to the pepperoni? Jeremiah stole it? Mm -hmm. Can I have some? <laughs> He's guilty. You couldn't see him because he's over here. He's guilty. He made that face. Put it on. Ready? Yeah, you know what you're doing because you're playing with it. <laughs> All right, you want to put yours there, Kayla, so we know whose is whose. We're going to actually wash them with a little um, egg wash. It's just egg yolk and water. Okay. And we can start making another one. You want to make one? Yay. Gotta make one for your sister. Gotta make one for your mom. What do you want in your I have more just flour cheese. here. Just cheese. Just dust the bench, and we're going to get this out of the way because we're going to make another pizza dough. All right, let me see. Jeremiah, what happened to the pepperoni? Cooking is so much fun. Oh, <laughs> like, like, no, I, I don't cook, but this is really fun. It's fun, Today, especially with the dough. Yes. Oh. Mom's going to have her cooking at home now. I love it. I love it. See, now you can learn all your mom's recipes. Learn all your mom's recipes and then bring them back to the show and we'll make them on the show. Yes. And then your mom can have like proof that she was cooking <laughs> <laughs> and proof that you can cook. We can make fried chicken. This is my messy <laughs> mess here. Let me just rinse off my hand. My chocolate. Now today, Kayla, I know you're making pizza, but it wasn't too long ago that you really couldn't eat anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> I could never actually... Like, you know, I couldn't eat pizza, but I, I was a bad kid, and I uh, cheated on my diet for, um, for like about ten years. Oh my God. So after I got diagnosed, I was like, my mom would pack me gluten-free food in my in my lunchbox, and when I would go to school, I would throw it out and eat the regular food because, um, when I was eating the gluten-free food around my um, classmates. You know, kids like to share their food and things like right, that. Right, right. And when they would, you know, oh, Kayla, like, can I have a piece of your, you know, and you give it to them and they wouldn't like it, they'll say, oh, this is disgusting, oh, this is oh, gross, yeah. why are you eating this? 
and it kind of hurt my feelings because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like well, this is what I have to eat, you right. know. So I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. It's disgusting. It's, 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 I still have to eat. Yeah, I still have to eat it. So I got really, really upset about Aww. it. I didn't want to get kind of made fun of anymore. So right. I just, um, I just cheated on my diet. Wow. Um, when I went to parties, I wanted to eat. You know, everyone was eating cupcakes and pizza oh and gosh, cookies, yeah. and I'm and my mom would say, "Well." Get a carrot. I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't want a carrot. I want right. a cookie. I want, I want pizza. pizza, and I want hot dogs and hamburgers, and I want to be like a normal kid. So it was just very yeah. hard for me. And then it wasn't until when I was 14, when or 14, 15, when things started actually coming out uh -huh. uh, gluten free, right. like pizza, right. right, and chicken nuggets, that I actually started eating gluten free. Wow. And then I gave it up. I gave up gluten for Lent one year oh my God. <laughs> to, that's see, amazing. See, to see if I could actually do gluten-free for 40 days. That's and amazing. I ended up being gluten-free after all because I ended up getting so used to eating gluten. I right. mean, gluten-free for 40 days that I didn't even remember what gluten tastes like. And now I don't even know what, right. real, pi what real pizza tastes like right. anymore. Well, I we're love, making real pizza. I love my pizza just as much as yeah. anyone loves yeah, their We have plenty more. So, so yeah, when did you get diagnosed? I got diagnosed when I was eight years old that I was very, very, very sick. Oh, when really? I was, um, you want sauce too? I thought yeah, it was with the cheese. sauce. Don't worry, we're gonna get the sauce. We won't forget about you guys. Don't See, worry. I'm not good with cooking. Oh, you said just cheese, but you meant no pepperoni. <laughs> but of course, the sauce. Yeah. Meat, feet. You know what? This is why I don't cook. Because I don't meat. know. We got it. We got it. Don't worry. Stir my another baking sheet, please. Yummy. Sophia, what would you like in there? Pepperoni. All right, don't yell. Be nice. All right, now let me cut. Let's break it up. You don't need that much. Break up a piece. I understand that, but those pieces are big and they don't fold over very well. Like Jeremiah's over here is going to be like <laughs> all over. We're going to have to put yours on a separate baking sheet. Actually, you want to put mine on because I don't have any cheese. Put that one on. Put this one on. On the other. That's. Well, it looks like there's in there. That one's a very little one because when I rolled it out, you see how nice and big these pieces are? You want to kind of get orderly pieces, but we kind of just cut, 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 cut. So we have one, two, three, four, five, right. six, seven. Want to get me an again? <laughs> Here, put some nice. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You making a mess too? <laughs> we're making a really big mess here today on ABC Gluten Free, but we're going to be eating it all. Yum. All right, Sophia, you're done with that? Let's clean off our little space a little bit because we have two more to make. Right. Kayla, you think you can do it? I think I you can. You ready for I it? Think All right. Can. We're putting her to work. We don't want to work her too hard. Jeremiah, how can you get in here? Yeah, good. Raise it. All right, we're going to do one more. We have there's one. I'll give you some more flour. Cover up that. And we're going to actually get these in the oven quickly because we want to be able to show you and we want to be able to eat them. We don't want to miss out on anything. Yep, yep. I want to be able to eat them. <laughs> Definitely. We like to eat in front of the camera. We like for everybody to drool when we're eating. Yum, yum, yum. We're just putting a little egg wash on here. It's just egg, egg yolk and a little bit of water. And that's going to give it a really hard, crunchy outside that you have like when you have a pizza crust. And also we're going to sprinkle a little bit of grated cheese on the top. Now we just have to remember whose was whose. Because oh. everybody took okay, such care of making theirs. Like Alright, we don't want to we don't want to mess up, right? We know which one's Jeremiah's. Yeah. <laughs> and we know which one's Kayla's because she folded it up so nice and neat. Okay. Yeah. We put a lot of cheese in there. <laughs> she, put, uh, she stuffed it with cheese. These are like the pizza pocket versions, you know, when yeah. you you can't have in the store. Yeah, the ones that I used to love Just eating and I had to give them. up. Yeah, right. This Jeremiah, is great. come put that in the oven, please. Thank you. Put the timer on. Whoa. All right, you need more cheese, right? Yep. Where are you today? Come on. Oh, I got it right here. Look at me. I'm finding things that I lost. Come on, how long? Put it in for 20 minutes, okay? We're talking so much, we might not get done today. Oh, my goodness. All right, so now when you got diagnosed, Kayla, and then you, when, from what point did you decide that you were going to start the organization that you started? When I was... 15, I believe, I was in California and I met a girl um, who had celiac disease and um, from, she was from Califor Colorado uh -huh. and I met her in California at a pageant. Oh, okay. And um, we were talking and we ended up having the same kind of difficulties with celiac okay. and we said that the reason we both cheat is because 
we didn't know anybody that had, um, we didn't know anybody else that had celiac, right. so we felt right. like when we went to when we went to friends' house, we had to cheat because right. we didn't feel like we fit in. It's almost like the it's almost like a celiac bully. Like yeah, a, a it, it, it almost at you. it almost is. It, it's very it's diff it's difficult changing your lifestyle. Right. You know right. when you're so used to doing something else. Right. Um, I don't know if that's exactly what I'm gonna miss one. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ask mom? Okay, yeah, good. I think she She's happy. Pepperoni. Sophia, good girl, huh? And then, um, good. and then I just decided. I said to myself, you know, I I actually um, wrote a uh, grant, I, not a grant, a, 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 a contest for Scholastic called uh, Be Big in Your Community Contest. Oh, awesome. Um, and I, you know, I reached out to them, and I, I ended up winning the next year. Oh they my gave goodness, me, wow. They gave me first prize of um, $2,500. Um, to help me start my organization. Wow. So I was, um, so and I was the youngest one to win first prize that year. Oh, wow. So that's that was awesome. really, really exciting to win yeah. first prize, to get that letter in the mail. Right. Because I didn't, even, I didn't even think that they knew what celiac disease was. Right. Because it has to do with, re scholastic has to do with reading and education. Right. Exactly. But they actually really enjoyed reading my proposal as to what I wanted to do for teens with celiac disease. That's awesome. And then that year I held my first catwalk for celiac. Uh -huh. And then the next year with the help of Scholastic I held another one. And then after that catwalk for celiac, it's a fashion show. Wow. Yeah, I have you to know. show them. This is, this is Kayla's, basically the brochure from her event. Hopefully you can see that. This is a catwalk yeah, for celiac, celiac teens. Hold on a minute, please. And in here she actually, you actually highlight people who have celiac disease yep. who are possibly in a position of authority or mm -hmm. celebrity. She's got the twins here, and she has um, you have Jenna Drew in here yep. and Nicole in here. Yep. A lot of the girls that actually I ran with you. Yeah, and have celiac disease. And I met Nicole through through my organization. Actually, she reached out to me, and we started talking. And mm -hmm. now she's a board member. Sure. That's so, awesome. So, which yeah. is amazing. And then um, through you know through my organization, I've been able to reach out to a lot of teens, and not only in New Jersey but also in Florida, in Alaska, in Colorado. Um, even I think in um, Massachusetts. So the organization is a New Jersey based organization, but it's reached out to so many. And, yeah. and it's so fast. And you know, we're still starting out and we still want to do a few more things. Like we want to host a day camp for kids with celiac disease. That's and awesome. we want to, you know, do fun things where kids can come and feel, you know, a part of something. They don't right. have to kind and of, um, to be afraid. they don't have to be afraid to eat gluten free and they don't yeah, have to be afraid to, awesome. to share their, their, um, problems and stuff like that because yeah. with celiac disease you get a lot of like aches and pains and all this stuff and a lot of people right. deal with that every day so and it's so it's so difficult so um to be around other people with it it just it makes it easier and it you can share your stories share and share your exactly. struggles and share what you've got exactly. exactly and also i think i feel like with the teen age it's a rough age it and is. if they can't express how they feel or that they're in pain or hurting you know they hold everything in it is yeah so they should be able to go someplace and feel it really is hard especially when your friends are like let's go out to uh burger like, let's king go on Friday. Or, let's go yeah. somewhere and you're just like i can't eat right. there right. so Let me clean you almost up. feel like um you almost feel like you can't hang out with anybody right because oh, yeah. what are you going to do you can't really eat anywhere that i'm going to eat yep. and everything food's a social it is a social it's thing so social. um it's very difficult when you can't socialize. And now you have the catwalk, which is once a year, right? Once a year. And what other yeah. events are you planning now? You um, said you mentioned some other ones. Yes, we're planning a small little event um, at a country club in August um, awesome. for mother and daughters with celiac disease to come and kind of have a mother-daughter day and, you know, go to the pool and have some, you know, you know, <laughs> nice, like, you know, sodas and things like that and just make it a very... Um, very intimate, uh -huh. intimate um, get together, but also education wise. You That's know, awesome. teaching kids how to go to school. You know, when they start school in, the, in September, how to deal with that and even celi uh, dealing with celiac disease. Right. And That's awesome. And then when you went back to school, were you able to share with your friends that you actually were confident enough to say, "No, I can't eat that, and I can't." When I your organization when I got into when power. I got into high school, I. Yeah, I'm now I'm able to tell anybody, no, I'm sorry, I can't eat that. I have celiac disease. Right. I have no problem. Now I have yeah. no shame anymore. It's actually right. it's really amazing how that, that shame, that baggage that I had for so long just kind of just went off my back and now I'm now I'm so happy. I'm so happy That's that awesome. I can go anywhere and just be like, No, I'm gluten free. Right. Yeah. Now we I wanna ask you a lot of questions about being 
Miss Teen, but mm -hmm. I, I want to get started on the cupcakes. Yes, so yes, we'll yes. work and talk at the same time. We have okay. to be able to do that. Oh, we, we have one more event which I would love for you guys to come oh, to. It's at California Pizza Kitchen oh, at the Garden State Plaza, um, which is in Paramus, New Jersey. And we're going to, that's on April 5th. And if you bring, I'll have a flyer up on my website that you guys could print out. And um, anything that you guys order, 20% will go back to the Teens Learning Facility. That's Foundation. awesome. So we'll put that on our Facebook and our Twitter page. Make sure you guys check that out. We don't want to miss California Pizza. Pizza party. I mean, yeah. what is better than that? We're having pizza today. So I know. It's, it's perfect. Well, we can go there and have pizza again and again and, and again. again. Now, are they just doing gluten free that day for a special um, event? Or I try. I try to do that, but I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's. Uh, not that not many people. You know, some people um, have to eat certain other things like salads and things like that. So I right. think. Um, but basically, they're going. To, they're going to be having the gluten free menu like in a spotlight that day. Yeah. You know, oh, okay. so they're going to be sharing that, telling everybody, you know, we have a gluten free menu. You know, cup, eat all the right. gluten. Okay. It's safely made because it's um. They actually prepare. They do their preparations by the. Uh, I think the, the rules or the uh, protocols from the GIG group, the gluten okay. tolerance group. Yeah. So that group so had. Once I to stop, I have everything over there. You just need to try it. Forgot. I have everything set up over there, and I'm trying to get my son to clean everything, which we don't need, and I don't want to interrupt you. No, no. So that group oh, is actually. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> that group. Um, you know, set everything up with them, and so now it's safely prepared, and That's anyone awesome. can eat it, and I love it. I never get sick from eating California Pizza Kitchen. It's That's really awesome, awesome. Yeah, and it's good to know that they're safe. We've yep. been doing a lot of the, the training on the universities and stuff with Char yeah. about the pizza program and teaching them how to be certified to serve gluten-free pizza, which is really awesome, and it's just needed now. It's about time, like, we're not going away. Yeah. We're you know, and we want to go out and eat, and we want to definitely participate yeah. in outdoors, you know, yeah. so we need to do that. And I love that it's at California Pizza Kitchen because so many teens go there, you know, when you're at the mall and things like that. So it's just, it's fun to, um, it's fun to go there and be able to know that you can eat right. yeah. pizza off the menu. And you, have pizza. and you have options of pizza. They have, I think, a barbecue chicken pizza Ooh, and then a margarita nice. pizza and then another type of pizza. So it's like you have options. That's awesome. And, but I love, and I love having options. But yes, sometimes absolutely. I don't like eat the same thing all the time. All right, Kayla, you want to beat the eggs? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she can do it. If she can be Miss Teen, you went through all of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, was that totally difficult? Oh, Miss New Jersey was. Yes. It's, it's, I can't imagine. I love. It. I love it. Doing. I love it. I love. I love doing pageants. I love being on stage. Oh, I love awesome. representing my state um, at a national pageant, and it's it's always so it's always a great experience for me. I always get to meet new people. Yeah, that's incredible. I don't even know if I'm mixing it right. You're doing good. We're doing two eggs. We're making a cupcake today. Kayla loves chocolate. I we're do. We're making chocolate cupcakes with a chocolate cream, coconut cream, Ooh. and we're also just we're starting with two eggs, a cup of sugar. Sophie, you can put that in there, and we're gonna give her four tablespoons of butter. <laughs> Jeremiah, if you could just melt this a little bit for me. Of course, we're using our Irish butter. You know, we can't live without it. We're going to just melt it a little bit so it'll make it easier for Kayla to actually whisk it into the butter and the, the sugar. I mean the it sugar and so the egg. <laughs> 20 seconds is good. I smell pizza. Do you smell pizza? You smell pizza. It smells like a pizza ray in here. I could bring myself right back to my brother's place and just like, just it's dive so into the pizza. pizza. <laughs> and the cupcakes. It's like my two favorite foods. All right, all so the day. making the cupcakes, we're going to just do... I basically just do a quick recipe. Uh -huh. This plain cake recipe I use for almost everything. I just kind of change the inserts where today we're going to be adding chocolate cocoa powder. Okay. And if you don't like the cocoa powder, you just use it plain with vanilla cup, making vanilla cupcake. Yeah. Add a little bit of yogurt to make it a little smoother. Mm -hmm. We usually use coconut or okay. yogurt that we can have. Mm -hmm. We know your sister can't have that, so we're going to try to stick with what we can all eat today, hopefully. <laughs> right, you mix that around, and we're going to get, we're going to get actually our flour. I'm not touching it. Make cake like this. What is it, honey? I don't want to get my hands dirty. Jermaine, one more bowl. I need to take this stuff Wait, away. which kind of flour are we using? Shot? Mm -hmm. Right there. Oh. Yeah, we yeah. use we use the classic white bread box for everything. That's really cool. I never, I would never yeah. think that you could do that with with that. Okay, everybody, listen. She didn't think, so we we call this the Almighty box. We're trying to get them to repackage and, and say all-purpose flour. You hear us out there, <laughs> Lori and Anne? We're talking to you. <laughs> we want it repackaged for all purpose. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the dry here, and the, then we're going to add it to your wet. Okay. Not yet. 
just need you to do one teaspoon. Where's my teaspoon holder? There we go. One teaspoon of vanilla. We're using Tahitian vanilla today. You guys know how much I love home goods. We love home goods. We buy everything there. One it's teaspoon? Yum. One teaspoon, yep. Yeah. And we're going to use...
Shar, and then they point to my mother. <laughs> is she Dr. Shar? I said, no, Dr. Shar is not here. We're just representing him. But I had so much fun. I love the step in my knee. Oh, it baby. was so much fun. You want me to clean you off? No, no, no. Sure. Just, I'm just gonna roll Sophia, my. Sophia, look. We're making a mess on her. Don't do that. No, trust me. Making a mess is the best part of I a love baby. I love mess, but you know, sometimes you don't want to. Yeah, you know, sometimes you don't want to make a mess, but yeah. I think that's the best part. <laughs> we make a mess in this kitchen about four times. A I think night. it's the cleaning up that that's that's not the best part. You know what? We have gluten free grandma. As long as we feed her, she cleans up anything. <laughs> Aww, my mother great. was the same way. My mother was wonderful. Anything I cook or make a mess, she cleans it all up. She never cares. She never says a word. As long as I feed her, she's happy. Now we just keep on mixing. Okay, easy, easy. We might have enough. We need a little bit of. Um, we need a little bit of liquid in there. So go easy. Let me get some water. It's getting harder. Normally I have a little bit of milk in here, but your sister can't have that. So we're going to go with the water. A little bit of water, right? you got to have chocolate cupcake, right? <laughs> and we're going to still beat the meringue. I'm not there yet. Yeah, yeah. If I put the electric mixer on, you guys could not hear a word we said. So I have to do a bite. I don't do well with electric mixer. Yeah, we don't want to getting hurt. As you just, as I told you that story. Ours is the kind that you don't have to do that. Though. Oh, okay. Then never mind. <laughs> And Kayla has all of her information in here. And she's not only beautiful, but she's smart. Oh, thank you. And she also has a dedicated mission. You really do have a mission. Yeah. You really want to get the word out and educate I, people. Yeah, I really want to educate people. And I just want um, the world to be a better gluten-free place for all, for yeah. all of us. You know? All right, I think we're ready to bake. To, um, thank you so we're much for having me. I'm oven. having so much fun. Oh, good. I'm glad you're having fun. We want to get our cupcakes in the ovens. What, honey? Oh, okay. I, I actually 
actually could let her do it, but I think I worked her very hard today. Give me a little break. I think we're gonna need a knife and a fork. I'll do it. You don't need a knife and a fork for a piece of pie. They're huge. All right, we're gonna fill our cups three quarters of the way. We're gonna do a little bit more. We gotta make sure we have a little bit for everybody. Yum yum yum. Wow. The pizza pockets are getting big, right? Exaggerated Our dough like actually will proof up and get really fluffy in the oven. And then it's going to have that crunchy outside, which we love, which is like the pizza crust. You know, you got to have that little crunchy crust. I love the crunchy part. Me too. I love the crust. I used to love Jeremiah, the crust. Jeremiah doesn't eat the crust. Why? Because he doesn't like it. Too crunchy. I like the crust. Look, Red, I love from Shara, the Shabbat rolls. Oh, yes. Those the are Chibata so, are awesome. so good. Yeah, you had those at your event last yes. year. Because mm -hmm. they brought the Shar actually donated them for the, the rolls oh, for awesome. the for the dinner. Um, and ever ever since that day, I think I'm hooked on them. I think I ate one this morning. I mean, for the, yeah, I ate one this morning with the tur the turkey. I ate Is a turkey it? sandwich this morning. Do you I don't know why. Take this away? Thank you, honey. I think I was in the mood for something like salty and lunchy, not really like anything with bacon or something. All right. Do you like the mini chips or you like the regular size? I like any chips. I All like right. chocolate. So we're gonna put a little bit of chocolate chips in our chocolate cupcakes. What could be better than that? I'll give them to you, Kayla, and you decide how many you want to put in there. Now you can mix them into the to the batter also. A lot of times, if you don't give them a little bit of flour, they drop to the bottom. But I think our we have enough density in there that they won't drop to the is bottom. That, is that good enough? You do whatever you want. So if you go ahead, do you want to help Kayla? We're going to put these in the oven at 375 for 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes. Hopefully they're going to come out in time. If not, you know we'll put pictures up for you. We don't want you to miss out on anything. No, no, no. All righty, yummy, yummy. Hey! People <laughs> sneaking any chips. Hey, cut it out. Don't eat when you're serving other people, please. They're so much fun. All right, Jeremiah, you're going to show our cupcakes to um, everybody, and then we're going to get them in the oven. We need to get our pizza pies out and get our cupcakes in. Now, hopefully, every all the time, we'll go right. This is when you need two or three mm -hmm. ovens when you're doing something like this. <laughs> all right, Jeremiah, you can show them our cupcakes that are going in the oven. We're getting our pizza, pizza pockets out. I can't wait. All right, let's clean this up. Look at me. I'm cleaning up this. this <laughs> Here we go. Let me get that out of the way. We don't want to get her dirty. I don't mind it. I get dirty anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's always Sunday that I get dirty. I get dirty. Oh my! I'm like a little kid. I said, I don't even know how. I do, I don't even know how. I, I dress up all the time. I have to my my bike on two wheels. Oh really? Me too. Now I forgot. I don't know how to ride a bike anymore. Oh my gosh! I don't think these are done yet, but I'm gonna show everybody. I was scared to Look ride my pizza pies. Hold on a minute. Look at our pizza pies. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, They're can so you smell that? They, look, they smell amazing. She, her eyes got real big. <laughs> oh, <this laughs> I'm going to put them in for about a few more minutes. They're almost ready. Not what? After that, I was scared to ride my scooter. Now I'm riding my scooter. I was scared to ride my bike. Now I'm riding my bike. And she oh. learned how to ride a bike over the weekend. Yeah, 12. Put it on for 12. All right, so we have everything in the oven. I know. Everybody's hungry. We're going to get started on our coconut cream, and we're going to get that ready for our cupcakes. Yum. Let me get that out. Coconut cream. You're going to need these. I'm so excited. crazy about it's super super sweet mm -hmm. but we're just going to toss that up a little bit I like sweet. who likes super sweet she does she mm -hmm. does too mm -hmm. all right i just need you to stir that up a little bit meringue this is nice yeah don't touch that, I'll I'll that up. this we're going to wait on because remember what this was sophia chocolate this is our chocolate frosting now our chocolate gets really really hard because we use our enjoy like chocolate chips so what we have to do is soften it up in the microwave a little bit, okay. and then we can add a little bit more coconut cream to it. I'm just going to break this up a little bit. What, honey? I know. Would you stop, please? Thank you. You're, she's beating on me today. Jeremiah, can you microwave that mm -hmm. for about 30 seconds? 
All right, so we have our pizza pies in the oven. We have pepperoni and mozzarella cheese, provolone cheese inside. We have our chocolate cupcakes in the oven with our Enjoy Life chocolate chips on top. I think we have a little bit more time. Can we? I think? love breadsticks and chocolate. We're going to so cover them. Sophia, go get your chopping nuts. Go get your nuts to chop. Mmm, chocolate covered. So yummy. Yeah, go ahead. Mm, okay. All right, so my. took you to the doctor and what happened? Um, you, had, you were having problems? I was not, I wasn't growing and I was malnourished. Oh, okay. And um, so it was really bad actually, it was really, really bad. Wow. Doctors were diagnosing me with, um, I think, cystic fibrosis. Wow. Um, another disorder and another disorder. And then, wow. they all, and then they ruled them out because they knew that I wasn't that sick, but I was right. sick. And, oh, um, yes. I, it took finally a lot of doctor visits, yeah. and then one doctor, I think my mom told me that he was in a conference with celiac disease, oh, disorders, mm -hmm. yeah, and he ended up figuring out that that's what I had, and when I came back, um, I did a endoscopy, yeah. and that's what, mm -hmm. um, that's what basically told yeah. me that I had celiac, my, oh my, my small intestines was, yeah, was awful. was awful. And now it's better. I mean, yeah, I think it's better. I think I don't have any. Uh, so far, when I went to the doctor, um, not, they don't see any uh, gluten levels off or anything like that. So that's, that's right. really good. That's awesome. Um, I had one doctor actually tell me one time. He goes, "Oh well, good thing you don't have celiac." And I'm like, "No, nope, I do actually." Wow. But how that? amazing that would be if I if celiac disease could go away like that. You don't right. have it anymore. It's done. It's done. You're yes. okay now. Yeah. So um, I got really excited actually for a moment, but then um. I knew for a yeah, fact that I, I still have celiac right. disease. It's not going away. It's not going away anytime soon. But it was actually a really, it was a really funny moment. Yeah, I yeah. bet. All right, so we're gonna just cover our sharp okay. sticks with a little bit of, a little bit of um, chocolate syrup. No, I mean chocolate, melted chocolate, and then we're gonna just put a little bit of nuts on it. It's so good. We'll actually do a separate plate for your sister. So if you want to do some, I'll do some for my sister. Actually, oh, you want to do some for your sister? I have yeah, little um, green and white sprinkles Can I do this? from our little shamrock thing that we did. Yeah, just wait because I don't want anybody like double dipping. Mom, no, I should have done hers first. Uh, All right, take the pies out. The pies are ready. I could smell I'm them. I'm gonna have on. some sprinkles with these two. Please. Good job. Good job. Good job. And then where should do I? Do you think that? your sister wants more chocolate or no? You want more chocolate? She's good with the chocolate. Did you think so? Alright, we're going to cover hers over here. We'll put yours here. Sophie, you going to do another one? And here you go, Kayla. She's got a little shamrock and breadstick there. If you if you're having a party and you don't know what to make, green for six. Do the chocolate cover breadsticks. Put anything on them. Candy cane sprinkles, little sprinkles. You can also do 
a savory one with prosciutto and goat cheese. Mm. Mm. Yummy. You just spread the goat cheese on and then wrap it with the prosciutto. That was so good. We did it for a party at our girlfriend's boutique and everybody loved them. They didn't even know what they were. So we just gave them to them away. We used to make homemade breadsticks, right? Now we don't waste our time. We just use the ones in the package the way we eat them. Do you want nuts or you want sprinkles? Yeah. All right, put the sprinkles on and then put it on that plate, okay? You can. Don't, don't go over the table. Excuse me. All right, we're ready? We're going to bring our pizza pies up. We know you guys can't wait to see them. We know they're hot. We can make some more breadsticks later when you guys aren't here. Later when the cameras are all gone. We can do another, right? Yeah. Do you like nuts or sprinkles? What do you think? I don't know. I'm like a sprinkle. Are you sprinkle? Well, that's you all sugar. Not just because that's what likes. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I love sugar. Pizza, pizza. All right, so we're going to put our frostings aside for now because we have our pizza pies out and we want to get them on our plate. So what we're going to do, Sophia, you know you're in charge of. As soon as you're done with that, what are you in charge of? Forks, napkins, and forks. Thank you, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, we're going to need a little bit of sauce over here, too. Okay. In this plate right here, please. No, keep that over there. We don't have room. All right, we're going to get ready to eat. So we hope we B-Y-O-N. Sophia's in charge of the napkins. She's going to be passing them out. Go ahead, give Kayla the first choice of napkins. We'll put this aside for now. We can always make more breadsticks with chocolate. So it's two seconds. You guys can have as many as you like. You see how I need more space? More space. Bigger kitchen. <laughs> Alright, is that hot, honey? No. Okay. Well, we have Hot Pockets. This is our version of Hot Pockets. Kayla, do you remember which one yours was? That one? It's the big one. This is the best one. Alright. Just Sophia, why don't you get her a knife? Did you give everybody a napkin? Yes. Alright. So Sophia, which one's yours? This one? Alright, but you got to share. So we're going to... Give some to the kids. Give some to her mom. All right. Go ahead, Kayla. You dig in first if you right. want. Kayla, did you make one of these too? I think I made. Which one was for your sister? I think I made this. Or your mom? This one. Yes. All right. So we're gonna actually bring this over to her. Wait. If you can't hear her, mm, 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 don't worry. <laughs> she got it. You have your napkin, right? Mm -hmm. You guys want to cut it in half for now, or you want to go with the whole thing? Is that yours? Is that the cheese one? I don't know if it's a pepperoni or just cheese. No, why don't you cut cheese. it in half and see? It's just hot. Sophia, let me have it. All right, whose is this? It's very hot. I think that's yours. This is mine? Yeah, I think that one's yours. Mom's got, always got, mom always knows what's going on. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hot and piping. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to just cut it up and plate it so everybody can have a little bit We don't want anybody to go hungry in this house. No way. Jeremiah, pass them out. These are so, 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 so good. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. It's fun to eat crust, right? Oh my goodness. It's so good. There you go, honey. Can I have a little piece? Sure. Jeremiah, move away, honey. Is this yours? Yes. Do you want to stand in here? Oh my goodness, no, Meryl. Right this right here. All right, honey, hold on a minute. Jeremiah, did you give me May some? Yeah. I have my pepperoni in there. Yeah, you do. You have pepperoni in there. If you guys don't, you guys are missing out on this. You guys should really be making this right now. Because this, I am just, oh my goodness, it's so good. Maybe they have to make some for um, Catwalk. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to be making some for Catwalk. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I would love to make them for Catwalk. Right? I wish I could. I can't go this year. I'm very disappointed. Anybody want more sauce to dunk in? Me. All right, I'll put some on your plate. Okay. How about that? Mm, 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 mm. Excuse me, honey. Let me get a. Uh, we need one more spoon. Okay, okay. I hope you guys don't get full. Yeah. Is that me. sauce? Yes. That's grandma's. Sauce. Me the sauce is not hot. You still want it? Okay. Sauce me on good. the side. Sauce on the side. Hold on. Sauce me. on the side. Everybody good? Kaylee, good. Everybody I'm wants good. sauce. Thank you. Want All right, you guys. Sauce. We're, we're almost out of time, but we know we're getting cupcakes out of the oven. Jeremiah, how's the cupcakes? All right, you eat. Almost I'm going to go check the cupcakes. Done. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Oh, Just the first time anything I made oh, tasted. Oh, I'm going to show. Guys, 
we have a few more minutes in the oven, but look at these cupcakes. Look at those chocolate cupcakes. Look at that. Smell it. Mmm, smells good, right? We're going to put them back for a few more minutes. Oh my god, these are so good. Don't worry, you're going to get cupcakes. These are so good. These are really good. So good. Good. So good. Jermaine is back there eating. These are really good. You like them good, I'm glad. How do you like it? Is it good? Nobody's okay. really talking, so mm -hmm. Gluten Free Grandma's silent as the grave. Oh, mm -hmm. That means she loves it. Oh, I just spilled something. something. Oh, well. I just spilled something. I'm sure you don't care. We can make it catwalk with Julia. Which oh. is May 17th, 2014 at Liberty Science Center in Jersey City, New Jersey. Awesome. Who wants coffee? And you have to Me. see all these girls walking down not the aisle. Coffee. They look amazing. Not and not right now, but you can give coffee to Miss Kayla and her mom if they want, and her sister and gluten-free grandma. I have nothing to eat. Look at this. Why? I'm waiting for mine to come out. Oh, well. <laughs> These are really good, though. If you want to make them up ahead of time, put them in the freezer, and then when you're ready, you just pop them in the oven, and you have lunch for yourself or for whoever's coming over that you don't know. Jeremiah, cream and sugar maybe for her, too, okay? Kayla, is yours cooked all the way through? Because yours was really big, big, big. Yeah. But, oh, good, yeah. It's just like pizza pie. It's just like this pizza pie. Good, I'm glad you like so, it. So good. We made our homemade sauce with our fresh crushed really? tomatoes, garlic, okay. Italian seasonings. Kayla helped us with the dough. We pressed it all out. We put it all together with the yeast, sugar, and a little bit of salt. We mix that up with our two cups of water, a little bit of olive oil. And we mix that all together. We didn't get to show you because we really wanted to rush through everything. I'll put the steps up on Facebook. No worries. Sure. And then we put our cheese and sauce and pepperoni inside, folded them over. Right? We had them at 375 in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. We brushed them with a little egg yolk on top and a little egg wash. So egg yolk and a little bit of water to give it that crunchy crust because we don't want that soggy. Coffee for the girl, and it's in a rocket, so you know she's going to be flying later. <laughs> right? Okay, whose napkin is this? <laughs> Jeremiah's? Okay, I'm going to take it because I spilled the egg wash over here, and I want to get, get rid of it. All right, now I'm going to get ready, since everybody's eating, and I'm not. I'm going to get the chocolate ganache ready. We have our nice Enjoy Life chocolate chips, and we have our coconut cream in here with some powdered sugar. Kayla's busy eating. I love it. When someone's quiet... They're that means so they're enjoying it, and I love it. So, so I love to feed people. All right. I love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's where a good combination, then. So next year for Catwalk, we're going to do live. Yes, next we're year. We're going to broadcast live with Kayla. She's going to help me cook. Maybe we'll do penne vodka. Oh, yum. yum. Or we can do cannolis. Oh, cannolis oh. sound delicious. I never had a gluten-free cannoli. Oh, no. This is very tragic, people. Have you heard what she said? We can't let this happen. <laughs> we cannot let this happen. I'm Italian too. You do. I'm okay. half Irish. I'm not Irish. I'm just Italian. <laughs> Me I'm just Italian. I'm Italian. <laughs> what else am I? Puerto Rican, Venezuelan, Palestinian. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm a mix, but. And that's I why you turned out beautiful, then, because oh, they mix you. them all together. Thank you. You just get 100% Italian and a half Irish, half Italian, and you get this little cutie. <laughs> I'm full blood Irish right here. No, he's not. He just says <laughs> that. All right, you guys, why don't you guys try some of the chocolate-covered breadsticks? We usually put them in the fridge and let them sit for a little bit, because we want the chocolate to stop. But if you're doing, like, a little fondue party, mm -hmm. you can do the breadsticks dipped in there. It's really Mary, nice. Mary, you want one? Jeremiah, that was for her sister. No, she can't oh, okay. Right. No, 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 now you touch it. it. Take it. Give her the plate. Here, I'll give it to her. We want you to try some, guys. We'll put them over here. Try that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get those cupcakes out. Look, you're making a mess. You know, so good. I'm a beauty queen, I and I do pageants, but I don't eat like one. I'm a mess in my beauty. All right, we have our cupcakes. Let's check and see if they're done. Our cupcakes! Yum, 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 yum. I want your coffee. I want you to see how they are. Alright, so our next step with the cupcakes. Oh, they smell so delicious. Oh my goodness, they smell so, so, so good. Kayla, I want you to pick yours first, and I'm going to make yours. It's a hard decision. I know, it's a hard decision. Okay, I'm going to pick this one because I touched it already. 
You don't have to. We no, don't no, want this one. No, no, this one. This one. All right, Jeremiah, could you get me the small scoop, the small ice cream scoop? Hold on. We're going to frost it. Even though it's hot, we're going to frost it anyway because we don't want to wait. So we have our chocolate coconut cream ganache on top. This is so easy to make. You keep it in the refrigerator. It stays for a long time. And then what we're going to do for Kayla, too, and her sister, we're going to do a little bit of a meringue dollop. Now, when you have the meringue, we're going to flame it up. So we're just going to do, ooh, we're just going to actually char it a little bit. That is so That cooks cool. the meringue. Look at you, Missy. You just eat everything. She keeps eating. <laughs> and then we'll sprinkle mm. a little raw sugar on so the top. All right, Kayla, this one's for you. This is for the cupcake queen. We can't have her go home without cupcakes, cupcake, right? Cupcake, pizza queen, chicken queen. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sophia, you're next. Which one would you like? And then we'll do her sisters. All right, you want this one? We'll do the camera people first that are eating in front of you so you can drool. And then we'll do our audience that's sitting there so patiently waiting for theirs. We'll actually do oh my goodness, these are so good. How are the cupcakes, Kayla? They're really good. I don't think I've ever had Are they creamy anything. inside? They are. We're just going to do that. Can I help this? Of course. And this is Sophia. Do you want your cupcake, honey? Watch, because that's hot, okay? Let me just okay. sprinkle the sugar on top. Do you want to take the plate away? We're going to move this out of the way because we're running out of room for all these delicious bites that you're seeing today. All right, now for our Kayla's sister, Samara, Samara, right? Would you like to come and pick your cupcake or do you want Kayla to pick it for you? Okay, Kayla, pick her cupcake for her. I'll pick her this one. We're going to make sure the plate is nice and clean. Beautiful. Now we're just going to do for her a meringue on the top. We're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of sugar and then caramelize the top with our flame. I mean, chocolate and pizza at the same time. That's nice, right? Yeah, it's a combination. My thing's not coming out right now. Just get it from the back, honey. All right. We have. All right, I'm just going to dollop it on the top there. It's hot, so it's not sticking to it. A little bit of our raw sugar. Are you going to burn it? <laughs> I'm going to burn it. I'm going to char it, all right? And we're just going to give her a little caramelize on the top. With her egg whites. Right? Okay, this is Samara's cupcake. I hope she enjoys it. All right, guys, we're going to do a couple more frosting of our cupcakes. We're going to finish cleaning up, and we're going to say goodbye now. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Sophia always goes, okay, bye-bye, because she just wants to eat, right? Well, we're going to close. <laughs> Kayla, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so I really glad enjoyed you my time here. I really love the food. It's really good. I'm glad you do. We want you back anytime. You're welcome to come anytime and make a mess with us. We'd love to. We just need to get her a full size apron next time so she doesn't yeah. get dirty. <laughs> and we, we're so glad you guys joined us today on ABC Gluten Free. We want you to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and check some of our old episodes. They're all on live stream if you follow us there. You'll get all of our updates and our New Jersey Gluten Police episodes too. We thank you for tuning in. You guys have a great weekend and we want you to come taste and see how good it is to be gluten free. Bye. Music by various artists. Hair by Body Blends, Makeup by Artistry. Wardrobe by Ann Taylor, Tula, H&M, and JC Penny. Follow us on live stream, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter at ABC Gluten Free. ABC Gluten Free is a production of AmericanBods.com. Bye, everybody. God bless. Thank you, Kayla, for coming. Oh, thank you.